if a masjid, you know, if, you, if there's, if there's going to be no Juma in your masjid, most likely, right? So, uh, where, where the, you know, where on a Jumu'ah, what you do is you pray Dhuhr. So there was a whole discussion we had there as well, that while Jumu'ah is allowed technically, but if you look at the spirit of Jumu'ah, Jumu'ah is not done in villages, for example, you know, for forever. It's not done in villages, too small. There's a certain, certain conditions are needed for Jumu'ah. That's why in Muslim countries where the, the leader has said no Jumu'ah, there is no Jumu'ah. You can't even generally do it in private because the Amir is the one who legislates the Jumu'ah. It's, it's the reason now. In a non-Muslim country where you don't have a Muslim leader as such, they've allowed Jumu'ahs. In the Shafi'i school, they only allow one Jumu'ah in the entire city. Right? Other Jumu'ahs are not even valid according to one of their views. Uh, and uh, the Hanafis allow it, but this to just... Uh, I know some ulama, there's a difference of opinion of recommendation here. So essentially, everybody pretty much will agree that either the or Jumu'ah is okay. But the opinion of a huge amount of scholars that we had yesterday was that you just do dhuhr. And the reason for that is it's more simple. And really, the conditions for allowing Jumu'ah have been distilled down in non-Muslim countries to even allow it in the masjids, in multiple places and so on, without there being a Muslim leader and so on, right? Now to put that into just houses willy-nilly, that's not really, they're saying that's not really appropriate. It's not a, according to the status of a Jumu'ah. Because even the word Jumu'ah is a congregation. Like the word Jama'ah means to gather together. So that's why they say just pray Dhuhr. And what's important is that just do Dhuhr with your family members. Not just Dhuhr on Jumu'ah day, but I'm saying all the prayers do with your family members. And the way to get the reward, inshallah, is because you can't go to the masjid. So the way to get the reward is to uh, do it with your family. That means if it's just husband and wife, let them do it. The, the wife just stands at the back, husband at the front, and they do their fard prayer together. And then as soon as separately, there's children, they join in. So that's, that would be a recommendation at this time because we're going to have to enliven the masjid in our homes and make the masjid our homes. Uh, sorry, the, our homes the masjid. That's beautiful. You know, this under, you know, subhanAllah, I've been thinking that this whole problem that's taken place there are so many more people, I'm assuming, inshallah, with good hope, that they're making dua for themselves. That they would never have thought about making dua before. The, everybody has their life at their heart. So they want to make dua for protection. So do that. Use some uh, prophetic medicine, black seeds, the honey, uh, and uh, ajwa, and zamzam, if you have access to it. Use whatever means, every means that you can. And of course, be careful with the doctor's guidelines, uh, abide by them, social distancing, washing hands, and, and so on and so forth. May Allah give us the strength to go through this, inshallah, with great strength and bring us out better than before. And I have hope in Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala that that's going to happen, inshallah. That's going to happen, inshallah. And inshallah, we hope that this will be averted very soon and will come out stronger. Wa akhir da'wana and alhamdulillahi rabbil alameen.